Hello and welcome to Stellar Tactics, I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to provide an overview of combat gameplay and basic combat mechanics. This game is in early access so items could change so just be aware. So item number one is really talking about the UI. Over here on the left we see our initiative and turn so right now um, if you're at the top, this is the next person to go. Uh, so we have our character here um, who's about to use her turn. And then we get a move through two other characters. The enemy moves, then we move, and then the enemy moves. So on the left, this is the turn order. So keep that in mind when you're linking turns. Um, now over here on the right, we have our kind of map. This is somewhat useful, although most times enemies kind of pop out of nowhere. Uh, so don't be overly concerned. Bottom right, we see kind of our combat log, so we can refer to this to see how things are going. Um, over here, this bar is important. This is our AP or action points. Uh, most items take action points, although some moves do not use any action points. So you want to use moves sparingly because they do have a cooldown. Um, you can see the skill and refresh tier here, here. Um, but they are free, so it is nice because you can use moves and then save your action points for other things. This gear here ends our turn. Um, so we could also click spacebar to end our turn or click this end our turn. Over here, we can see uh, different things. So we have um, kind of our little uh, health bar. I'm not actually sure what the green officially represents, but the red is our actual health. Um, and our blue is our little bar for our shields. Below that, we have our moves, we have our combat, we can stand or crouch, we can also rotate depending on the angle. To the right, these are gadgets or gear or equipment we can use. Um, so we can kind of see what we have there. So right now I only have a hacking tool on one character. Um, so I think other items might become available later on, which will be fun. In the bottom left, this is important, we can switch between our weapons. This is free at cost, so it does not cost AP, which is good. We can heal by left clicking and then selecting a character in range to heal. Um, if we right click, we can select what we're using. The same goes for the grenades, we can left click. Now the important thing here is this takes AP. Med kits are 3 AP, grenades are 6 AP, although that could change with different bonuses and skills and other things. So right click the select. And then finally we have reload for ranged weapons. Uh, for melee weapons you don't need to reload, so just keep that in mind. All right, so that is the UI. A few general items I'd recommend. Number one is really use your grenades. You can gain a lot of these quickly and they're very helpful in taking out enemies, crowd control. Um, just remember that there is friendly fire, so use your grenades. Um, we are not going to use a grenade because they are too close. Um, now, the other comment I will make before we actually start combat here is you can right click on enemies to see what you can target and the hit percentage. So if I right click on this one because he's closer, I can kind of see what I want to hit. Sometimes it's hard to like target on them, so I like to right click and then I could select torso to a, you know to know that I'm going to want to hit the torso. Um, now th the one challenge here is you can't commit the attack, um, you can link it. So we're going to come over here and attack. So we're going to click on it um, from that perspective. So one thing that is sometimes bugged is you can tee up multiple options here, but I think you have to be in range because that did not work the way I thought it would work uh, from that perspective. So I had to manually click there. But if you right click, you can see the resistances, you can see what you can target, and you can see how they're different percent to hit. So then we're going to end our turn here by clicking this button in the bottom right. Okay, so we're close range. There is attack of opportunity. So if I move, he's going to incur damage. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to switch to my pistol, which is a closer range weapon. I'm going to see if I can do this. There we go. So that works. So the reason that didn't work before when I clicked it is because I wasn't in range of selecting the target. 
Um, so if you right click, you can actually see the percentages and then click on it. And I find that easier to do than trying to like manually target on the enemy. Just remember you have to be in range. So if you're out of range with like a melee weapon, um, it's not going to work that way where you can't lock in the movement. So we're going to end your turn there. And then we have you. We have a big gun here. We're going to save that. It is 7 AP. And I did not equip a weapon on this person, which is very, very unfortunate. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a stun grenade. going to left click that. See if we can't hit our character. Stun this guy. We need to equip another weapon on you. Enter. Now, the other thing you can do when you end turn is you can delay your turn, which requires full AP at the beginning. So that's sometimes helpful if you want to kind of link shots or have someone finish someone off. You can defend, which increases our chance to avoid or mitigate a single attack. Or we could just end the turn without doing anything, wasting our AP. So I always recommend you use your AP if you can. So I mentioned moves don't cost anything. You see how I have 8 AP here? Normally this costs 3. We're going to use my lunge move. Right click. Let's see. Let's do the torso. Automatic crit. And we killed him. Um, so you're going to have to take my word for it that we did not use our AP. Some moves um, might use AP, but most of them don't. You can kind of see kind of the skill required um, or the skill that you have, uh, the tier of the move, and then how long it takes to refresh. So real quick here, another kind of recommendation is make sure you check your equipment and everyone has the gear you want. So this person does not have a pistol or other backup weapon so I'm going to go ahead and equip that um, from that perspective. So hopefully you found this combat overview helpful. Uh, there are definitely more advanced tactics that I'll get into um, later in the game as I learn more. Thanks for watching. Shadow Coast out.